Hey, it's Owen Luke from Owen Says Go, back with another Chili Bites video. Today we're in the Mother City, Cape Town, and we're heading out to Tali to go and see if these Cape Townians now do a proper curry. Let's go! Okay, we're at Tali. There's a set menu here, served in three uh, platings, seven or eight courses, and you can choose between either a vegetarian or a meat option. I'm leaning towards the vegetarian, true Durban style, and I must say they're doing very well so far with the look of these cocktails. This is a toasted cashew nut and mango lassi with some rum in it. Oh, that's heaven. Mm. <laughs> Lassie heaven. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> a pipette of chili infused tequila done on property. Oh well. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> but better do, I guess. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> I like an interactive cocktail. Mm. So kiwi fruit and green tea. Other than that. Very tasty. Tastes like a mojito. It's lovely. <laughs> Alright, the first serving has arrived and it looks incredible. We've got uh, four different dishes and a bread to start with. There's a cauliflower dish. There's a sweet, um, button, sweet potato and butternut dish. There's some dal. Uh, there's a... Oh, a, a dumalu, a potato dish, and then some fantastic um, toppings. There's some chili salt, there's some uh, red chilies, a cucumber pickle, which I'm excited to try, a carrot pickle, and um, I think a beetroot writer. Beetroot writer? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Mm. So, oh. Let me s oh, people moaned in the review that there was only one roti. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not afraid to. Uh, Eat straight up. I'm gonna start with the dal. It's a true test. See how this tastes. Oh, looks nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely dal. Quite mildly spiced. Very tasty though. Lots of nice toppings on that. Try a little bit of the butternut. Probably need to add some chili. Mm. Mm. Flavors are fantastic, really rich, lots of different spices and um, sauces on that. Let's try this pickle. Mm. Durban, you're missing a trick there. That's delicious. Mm. And spicy. A little bit of potato. Mm. Oh, nice. Strong cumin and coriander on that. This looks like it's going to be fantastic. We're going to tuck in and come back to you for the next course. I'm sorry, I'm mm. Oh man. That is. Finger looking good. All of the dishes were fantastic. Weakest dish was probably the cauliflower. They didn't quite get that right. A little bit undercooked. But. Man, great flavors and the pickles and sambals that they were served with were really nice. They really added a lot to the dishes. Carrot acha, um, a beetroot writer. It'd be good to see that kind of stuff in uh, some of the places we eat in Durban. Of course, too. We've got aubergine, which looks amazingly soft. I'm going to start with that. Supposedly, loads of chili. Um, we really had a loads of chili experience here, but uh, see. let's see. Mm. Not at all spicy, but so <laughs> creamy. Really, really creamy. With a lot of that stuff, it'll be fabulous. And then the chart. These are supposedly poppadoms. Well, mm. those aren't supposedly, they are. Mini poppadoms. Also with some more aubergine, some sweet potato. And I just want to get some of this um, char grilled sweet corn because I think it's supposed to be the main event. Yeah. Mm. Also tasty, but not at all spicy. <laughs> we are used to Durban masala. <laughs> Oh, 
final course. Everything has been really good so far. Um, the dishes keep coming. One of the reviews we read before coming was that uh, you should fast if necessary before coming here because it's a lot of food. And I was feeling quite confident until about now and I'm like, mm, okay, I'm ready. So this naan looks beautiful. I'm gonna tuck in, try a bit of the naan. I can't resist uh, trying this uh, deep fried paneer with mushrooms in a spinach sauce. Oh. Looks beautiful. Mm. That's lovely. Pillowy naan. Real comfort food, Indian style. The deep fried paneer, rich. The spinach sauce, slightly sweet, smoky. Mm. Try a little bit of the kadai. Get in there, go on my son. Yeah. Oh, put a peas in there. Hot. Mm, that's tasty. <laughs> Alright, roundup of Tali in Cape Town. Fantastic experience, really good food, great ambiance. Um, there's actually no need for music in here because there's so many people. This is on a random weeknight. Um, it's very popular. You need to get here early if you want to get a good table. Um, but yeah, what I was just thinking is that the curry here is no better and in some cases not as good as the curries we have in Durban. So Durban definitely still the home of curry in South Africa. We've got more spices, we've got more flavors. We know how to cook cauliflower all the way through. <laughs> Um, but I think what they're killing at here is the, the vibe, the presentation, the, wine, the, the samples, the wine and cocktails, yeah. Mm. Um, just those little things and I think if Durban ever discovers those aspects then uh, they'll be unstoppable. But yeah, Charlie, Owen says, go. To Durban. <laughs> <laughs> Fall over. Go. It's the sweet one of the couple. I get ah, to do ah. dessert. So first the palate cleanser, coconut, lime, pomegranate. We think. Chat, 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 chat. Mm, nice coconut rice. First you. And then before the leaning tower of pizza falls over, I have to do the rose and pistachio coffee. Coffee. Coffee is like a kind of Indian. Ice cream. It's quite solid. It is quite solid. It's not, I think it's a different kind of, mm, it's, a it's got a different dry, texture. Mm, so it's yeah. more crystally, not like a traditional creamy kind of ice cream. Mm, very tasty. Strong rose flavor, which I really love. And I think that's it, it's a quite traditional crystally ice cream. Delicious.